Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica Vax, naturopathic physician, now officially retired. People often ask me here on my channel, can I substitute PPIs with aloe vera? And the simple answer is no. Here are a few reasons. Number one, you cannot go cold turkey on PPIs because you will have rebound effect. Here on my channel, I have a video how to stop proton pump inhibitors. Go ahead and see that. Number two, aloe vera has anti-inflammatory properties, so it will deal with inflammation. Do you have inflammation? Absolutely. You go for gastroscopy, it will be confirmed that you have GERD and it's redness and it's inflammation. Now, real question for you. Why do you have an inflammation? Body parts do not get inflamed just because. Think about your arm. If it suddenly become red, big and painful, you will, ask, will be asking, why? You have to ask the same question when you're thinking about GERD. On my channel here, I have a video, eight most common causes of acid reflux. Please go ahead and identify. And if you identify that inflammation is one of the reasons, then you can try aloe vera and see, but you have to identify the reason of your acid reflux. Now, back to our original question, why you cannot substitute just simply PPIs with aloe vera. Let's go to the blackboard. Here I have a picture of our digestive tract. This is our mouth with the teeth, esophagus, low esophageal sphincter here, stomach is this one, small intestine is that one, large intestine, and here we go to the bathroom. I ask people, why do you have acid reflux? So one person finally wrote to me and said, well, the reason I have is because I have hiatal hernia. I had a gastroscopy at age 10 and they identified it. Hiatal hernia means that the piece of the stomach goes here through the diaphragm, oh, let's draw it white, and ends up in the chest cavity. As a result of that, look at the low esophageal sphincter rather than being normal that size it becomes longer longer means it gets stretched when it's stretched acid and food can go here through the low esophageal sphincter and create inflammation here so yes you can take aloe vera here is your aloe vera right and put it here yes it will decrease inflammation a little bit but the problem is not inflammation problem is is right here your hiatal hernia so step number one for this person is going to be fix hernia and then sure I don't mind if you still have a little bit inflammation and you want to help with this inflammation you go ahead and take aloe but the first problem is the first for this particular case on my channel I have a answer for you how to fix hiatal hernia go ahead look for chiropractor also do special exercise and if you want me to be a health coach please contact here on my website and i will coach you over the skype thanks a lot it's dr veronica bye bye for now